Hey there! So I bought these pots that I wanted to decorate for Easter and I just have a simple idea here and it's to paint them like I used to color in eggs in my childhood days. And I say color in because these weren't actual eggs that I painted on but the ones you would draw like at elementary school. So that's my great big idea for today and I'm going to draw inspiration from that. So I know the first thing I want to do is of course paint these all white to have them look like white white paper I guess. So I go ahead and paint all of my three pots with white paint. Now with my three pots in a nice white, uh, it did take me two layers of white paint to have them looking like this. I guess I could have spray painted them, but I just went in with acrylic painter. So I have them ready and primed and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first one. And this first idea is just what I have the memory of painting or drawing onto an egg forever in school, which is squiggly lines and dots galore. The only difference here and how I'm going to try to elevate the design <laughs> is by keeping it monochromatic almost. So it looks, you know, a little bit more um, thought about. I use very similar colors and then I just touched over the parts that were not that nice and I'm calling this first one done. On to the second one and for this one I am also going to go to something really simple that we used to do in school which is flowers. The main difference is I'm going to make the background a little bit of a gradient to give it more interest and I'm going to show you how to do this because this is what people ask me more about. As you know, this pot was already painted in white and completely dry. What I do is go ahead and put my darker color where I want it, like I wanted it to be in the bottom this time. And I cover as much as I want it to be dark. And then I just take my brush, which is almost out of paint, and grab a little bit of that white without cleaning the brush and just go ahead and mix, mix it on the same pot. Uh, the terracotta, terracotta, terracotta. Terracotta pots are great for this because the acrylic paint dries really, really fast. So this is what allows me to have like a really nice gradient done super fast and it looks good. And this is how my grading is looking. I'm just gonna let that dry. And once it's dry, I'm gonna start adding my flowers. At first I was doing it with my Posca because as always I thought it was going to be easier but they were looking too see-through and I wanted a painterly look so I just went ahead and grabbed another brush and did the flowers again with some white paint. When all around my pot is adding these very simple flowers and then added tiny little ones with my Posca just to make it more interesting and vibrant. When I was done with that, I just went ahead and gave a little yellow center to absolutely all of the flowers. And that was it. It's very simple, but I really, really like the results. So I'm calling the second one done. For my third pot, I want to go ahead and do some polka dots, which was one of the other things I would just do for Easter eggs. And I have this idea, right, that I'm going to elevate this concept too. So I want to use different colored dots that sort of create an ombre or transitional effect. And they go through, you know, from purple to yellow and then in different sizes. Uh, I'm trying this out in one side of the pod because I'm not very confident about this, but it sort of looks okay. So I decide to trust the process and go ahead and keep making those dots in every single color and just going around the pod and up. What I do decide I don't like at all is the yellow dots. So I stopped making those and I instead add some bigger pink ones to the bottom and just to tie everything in the middle of the pot. Uh, and I think that works. So I cover up the yellow, which I hated, and just keep adding more dots of every single color, especially the pink one, and I'm calling this final pot done. And I know these are very simple designs, here are all three, but I love them. I love where the idea is coming from and how you can take something so simple and just transform it into something so fun and useful. I think they look so pretty and I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> well, here they are simple and there in the background is my not so simple abstract art. <laughs> I hope you like this. I love sharing ideas with you to see what you can come up with and I hope to see you the next time. Have a beautiful week. Bye.